I'm Dan Rivera, worship pastor at Southeastern University in Lakeland, Florida. Today's verse is John 15, 2. Listen to the words of Jesus. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. It was our anniversary, so I took my wife to a nice restaurant to celebrate. While waiting for the table, the head of wine and beverage just started some small talk with us. And I asked him a question. I said, what's the difference between a valuable wine and a less expensive wine? And he started to describe a variety of grape grown on an island in the Mediterranean called Santorini. Now, Santorini is only a place I've heard of that has great vacations. But he starts to tell me that there's a vine that grows here. It grows on the side of a cliff, and they are scorched by the sun, punished by wind, and beaten with salt water. It's a difficult place for fruit to grow. After withstanding all of these conditions, the fruit isn't even considered mature until 15 years of continual growth. And in this sort of pressure, in this sort of condition, it creates some of the most valuable grape varietals money can afford. In our verse today, it's important to understand that God's pruning process is not punishment. It's discipline. And the subtle difference between these two things is that discipline always makes us better. So one could assume that the more comfortable a plant is, then the better it would grow. But nature teaches us that the most valuable fruit, it must go through a cutting. It it must be edited. It must be pruned. So when the wind blows relentlessly and it feels like the pressure of life is too much to handle, remember that God is doing a work in you to produce better fruit, fruit that will bless your family, your workplace, your church, your community, and ultimately the world. As you meditate on God's word, ask yourself, are there areas of my life that need some editing? Lord, Come and remove those things that are distracting us from making fruit in our life. Now, some of us might be experiencing incredible hardship and difficulty as we read this verse. And for those who find themselves in that camp, let us receive the setbacks and pain of our season with a faith that says, even in this, God, you're still working to produce good fruit in my life.